guys. So today I want to do a book review of Hunger by Knud Hamsen. This was the January pick for the International Reads Book Club and I'm going to link down below so that you can go and join that if you haven't joined already. I just wanted to say that my translation is by Robert Bly. My edition also includes a foreword by um, Paul Auster. And I want to quickly say that um, Robert Bly is not the best translation you can get of this novel. I heard after I had bought this that the best translation is by Sver Lingstadt. So I'm not pronouncing that properly, but I'll write it down below. Apparently that translation is more accurate, and my translation has some mistranslated words. And also, interestingly, it's apparently a easier read compared to the other translations. So, so actually, if you have um, a different translation, let me know what you think of your translation, because I think it would be interesting to discuss how our impressions differed about this novel based on what translator we had. This book is about a starving journalist or would-be intellectual who is living in Christiania, which is present-day Oslo in Norway. It's about his struggles in life over the period of a couple of months. The book is separated into four sections, and within each section there is a major problem or a low point, and then things start to get better, something good happens, and then he ends up giving away whatever it is he has accumulated to someone who's less fortunate than him. That's the basic plot. I'm not going to give away much more. I'm going to jump right into what I thought about this novel. So first, when it comes to writing, I really enjoyed the writing. But of course, as I said, this is mostly because of the translator. I thought it was easy to read. And I am now curious how my reading experience would have differed if I had read another translation. So while I thought it was easy to read, it still nagged at me that I knew about halfway through reading that my translation wasn't good. So then I started really being critical about the word choice and wondering if I was reading something that was actually accurate. So that, I think, kind of ruined my reading experience. I think maybe if I had not heard about the mistranslations of words, I probably would have felt a bit different about this novel. I think there's a couple things that you can take away from this novel that really interest me. So I think the major one is just the way that his mind is affected by his hunger. So how his mind is affected by the fact that he is starving, he doesn't really have a place to live sometimes, and just the way it makes him kind of paranoid and erratic. It makes sense to me that someone would turn a bit crazy when you're starving. I think maybe what Hampson was trying to illustrate was the irrationality of the human mind and how things can really change our perspective. So for the narrator of this book, his starving, his state of starvation really changed his perspective maybe from what he was like before. Although of course we don't really know how he was like before he was starving, so for all we know he could have been just as weird before this bout of starvation. I also thought it was really interesting how this looked at the human mind and how we can act irrationally and against our own best interests while thinking that we're acting in our best interests. So my main example for this is the fact that the narrator would give away money even though he desperately needed it to people he thought were, well, well less fortunate than he was. And in his mind, it was completely rational. He was being chivalrous. He was helping the poor. But it's like he couldn't see who he was and he couldn't really reflect on what he needed. So when he didn't have money, he was very sad and very desperate for money. But then when he did have it, he ended up giving it away. It was interesting to look at the thought process behind that. And when I look at it from his perspective, it kind of makes sense. Although, of course, from my perspective, it seems completely irrational. And it is irrational, but it still does fit in with his perception of the world and the value he places on helping others. I want to say quickly that my main problem with this novel was the ending. I did not like the way it ended. I thought it was a cop-out ending. And 
feel free to disagree with me if you want in the comments. I am totally up for a new way of looking at this, but I did not like that ending. I thought that it was resolved too quickly and it just ended and I was left wondering what was happening. So it's not that I expect a novel to tell to start with the definitive beginning and end with the definitive ending. I just felt it was out of tune with the rest of the work. And to me, that's what bumped it down from a four star rating to a three star rating because otherwise I quite enjoyed this reading. I think that if you like stream of consciousness, I think you'll really enjoy this. And one book that it really made me think of, not because of the subject or even because of the way it's written, but because of the stream of consciousness and the feeling of the novel is um, Notes from Underground by Dostoevsky, which is one of the books that I really love. So if you've read both, let me know if you also saw some similarities. A lot of other people see similarities with Raskolnikov from um, Crime and Punishment, but I haven't read that in a really long time. So while I can see where it's coming from, I'm not, it's not fresh enough in my mind to be able to give a definitive answer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I will talk to you guys soon.